This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forged Irish Stout, FreeBets.com. Delighted to be joined with Eddie Hearn, who's just seen a destructive performance from there from Edgar Belanga against Polly McCrory. Um, must be delighted with uh, what you saw right there from Belanga. Roll it, I suppose, a first stoppage in quite a while for him. Yeah, I thought it was a great performance, exactly what he needed. You know, Poddy is a, a tall, strong 168 pounder who was really letting his hands fly even when he was hurt and it was a slow start two rounds were slow and then Edgar got into it Podrick took some massive shots in the third and fourth and then it was a brutal stoppage great knockout big statement WBA number one mandatory challenger now for the world title so great night for Edgar Belanga. Do you feel like he needed that stoppage it yeah. put a bit of weight off his shoulders? Anything but an impressive stoppage was not good enough tonight you know um, you know respect to, to Poddy but You've got to be, if, if we're talking about Munguia, we're talking about Canelo, you've got to be destroying people like Podrick McCrory. And he, he did that, and he did it in style. Um, and I think he, you know, he gained a few believers tonight. Still a long way to go. But I think uh, you know, now we've got that number one position with the WBA, he's going to get his shot. And whether that's in May, whether that's in September, whether that's in May 2025, it's going to come. I was going to say, after performances like statements like that, you're, you're very confident that he could mix it with the best at super middleweight when it goes to David Benavidez and other names like that. Canelo Alvarez is a special talent. You know, when you talk about mixing it with super middleweights, yeah, Jaime Munguia, absolutely. Benavidez, great fighter, yes, I believe he can. Plant, Charlo, absolutely. Canelo, it's the ultimate challenge. And everyone wants the ultimate challenge. And it's Puerto Rico against Mexico. It's the, it's the mandatory challenger. And I promise you this, when, when Edgar gets his shot against Canelo, he will fight fire with fire. He won't try to survive, he won't take a payday, he won't run around the ring, he will come to fight Canelo Alvarez. If he gets knocked out, respect, but he will bring the fans a firefight. And that's what, I think that's what Canelo wants now at this stage in his career. He don't want to fight a guy that's moving around trying to survive. So, you know, whether it's next or September, he will get his shot. We have to talk about Andy Cruz. Um, a solid performance out there from, from a bit of an awkward operator, I'd say. Yeah, I think Zamoripa, I'm not saying it was the wrong opponent, but he's very crafty and slick, but he also got absolutely battered. And he also lost every second of every round. And Zamoripa, who's a decent campaigner, lost a split decision to Tashi Fierro in Tijuana in a very, very close fight that could have gone either way. And I was there, and it was a war. And that was a mismatch. So it just shows you the levels. But you know, you're going to get the haters who are going to go, "Oh, he didn't stop him." It was Amaripa's prop. You know, very, very tough. But it was a good ten rounds banked, and I think it'll be good because I think every now and again, when you put in an eight out of ten, it'll be easier to get matched. So you know, whether Keyshawn reposts his tweet, we'll see. But at the end of the day, he needs a top ten guy next, and we've got to invest in that opponent because I think he's going to beat everybody. I really do. You mentioned there about Keyshawn. I think it was a tweet. It was like, send me the offer or send me the contract. Uh, and it got deleted. So uh, do you think he understands the risks going into a no, fight? He like Andy He's a fighter. Keyshawn, look, a lot of fighters are deluded because they believe in themselves. Keyshawn is a tremendous fighter, but he thinks he can beat Andy Cruz. His team and his promotional company know that he can't. So they probably phoned him up and said, take that down, mate. Honestly, don't, don't go there. And he took it down. So if you do want the fight, put it back up and I'll make you an offer. And we'll do it on ESPN, we'll do it on The Zone, I don't care because I need, I need Andy Cruz to fight great fighters and Keyshawn's a great fighter and they've got the history, that's going to that's gonna be a big fight. Absolutely, just moving on, um, we did see a tweet from Javante Davis yesterday, it seems to sort of be a habit of him uh, leaking messages, emails from you a bit, uh, I suppose before what it was in the tweet, annoying that, uh, that you're trying to be serious with him and it's every, not really rep. Every okay. time he does it, I think, I don't know why I waste my time with this guy, like, it's like a baby, you know, um, if you're not willing to sit down and have a sensible business discussion, like, he doesn't even know the details of the offer. Like, you know, he's going to make somewhere between 15 and 25 million to fight Conor Ben, pending how it does on pay-per-view. If you're not willing to sit down and, you know, discuss that in, that, in a fight you're, t you're saying is so easy, I don't know what he's getting for Frank Martin. I hope he's getting 20 million, because that's a tough fight. But we'll see. I was going to say, the tweet did say 25 million there, 25 million uh, where, so I suppose you were sort of um, not understanding what you were saying about the upside. And People asked me what the offer is, I said like, we made him an eight-figure offer with plenty of upside. So he doesn't even want to discuss the upside because he just doesn't, he just gets ill advice. 
But anyway, I wish him all the best. Great fighter, and good luck against Frank Martin for obviously 20 million. Uh, just talk, just quickly touching on Canelo opponent. Um, seems like he is sort of in a bit of limbo for an opponent on uh, for the May the Fourth, uh, May the Fourth fight. Um, Munguia, um, Charlo fights like that are potentially spoken about. Um, realistically, uh, being a former promoter of his, what do you think would be the option for Canelo that would make the most sense? Well, look, I'm going to obviously be biased in the fact that Belanga's mandatory. It's Mexico against Puerto Rico, but also I get. He's an outsider in that fight. I think the Munguia fight is a tremendous fight. Fort Jaime Munguia was great against John Ryder. Another guy that would come to fight, you know, a young guy like Edgar with plenty of balls, plenty of firepower. I think that's a great fight. And I don't know many other, you know, you've got, you've got Munguia, you've got Belanga, you've got Benavidez. I mean, you've got, you've got the Bivol rematch potentially. I just think you got Charlo, but it's a just like it's a terrible fight. It's a bad style matchup. It does terrible on pay per view. And it, okay, well done, mate. Well done, mate. And you know, so for me, Jaime Munguia, I think is the fight. I think I, I think that's the fight for May, and then Gabalanga is the fight for September or Benavidez. But I'll tell you something now. And, you know, I'm not representing him, so it doesn't really matter. Canelo Alvarez will fight anyone, anyone. He has zero fear, zero fear. He just wants great fights, and he wants people that come to fight. So you got you got a great list there. One name that was, uh, I suppose, talking about on Twitter recently was uh, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, realistically, uh, it's Twitter talk, but it's a serious. But look, Canelo wants so much money, you can't generate that to fight Chris Eubank Jr. And what is Chris Eubank Jr.? I mean, he's beaten a light middleweight in Liam Smith. He just got knocked out by a light middleweight. He's running scared from Conor Ben, who's a welterweight, and you want him to jump up to 168 to fight Canelo Alvarez. No chance. Well, just as we close this off, um, looking forward to the rest of 2024 or, or the upcoming oh, schedule, mate. A very, yeah, I know, but no, sorry, I meant the sort of the, fir, the end of the first quarter in a sense. Next week, it's not even our show, but we've got a very important fight next week. Raymond Ford fights Oleg Komatov, and, and I believe Ray will become world champion next week. He'll be our first American fighter who's become a world champion who we signed from a debut. So that's a big weekend for us next week. And then we go out to uh, Riyadh for Anthony Joshua against Francis Ngannou. It's a massive, massive card. And then next up, um, Dalton Smith against Zapeda, Sandy Ryan against Terry Harper, March 23rd. March 30th, we're in Japan for the launch of Prize Fighter out there, a million dollars to the winner. It's gonna be a mad tournament. April 6th, we're in Las Vegas for Richardson Hitchens against Lemos, final eliminator. Diego Pacheco and a big card out there. April um, 13th, we're uh, back in Manchester. Great, great card. Um, Jordan Gill against Elfa Barrett, um, Jordan Flynn against Cameron Vong, much more Ellie Scottney unifiers, Rihanna Dixon fights for the world title. April 20th, the week after, you've got Devin Haney against Ryan Garcia, unbelievable fight. April 27th, the week after that, you've got Taylor against Catrell. May the 4th is Canelo Alvarez fight week, we'll see what happens there. And then we go into massive fights, probably Taylor Cameron in May, hopefully Wood Warrington in June. Like no one, no one can even lace our boots, honestly, and I don't even mean that disrespectfully. It's actually quite embarrassing. Well, Eddie, this is my first time I've gone over to America for, for boxing. I've had a, I don't know why this name Donald's came about, but yeah, I've had a good time, mate. Called you, and that is what you are now known as, Donald. So, well, we'll I, see you soon, Donald. I, I guess it was sick, mate. I appreciate the time. I appreciate all the hospitality from Matcha, mate. I appreciate it. Thank you. We need to think of a new advert for FreeBets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.